Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly use your 87 to 88 overall power pass and who to apply it to. I'll also be ranking all of the players you could use it on, and I'll tell you why you should, why you shouldn't, and what to be wary of. And in other terms, reasons why you shouldn't do certain players. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, Right now, we are booming. The channel is booming just like it was last Madden. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you're not, if you're new, you won't know. But we we're getting hundreds of subs a day. It's happening again, boys. So we finally have the momentum going. It took about a week of Madden 20, but I'm loving it. I'm so hyped for this season, boys. And if you're new to the channel and you're, you're loyal to the channel, you're old, you're new, whatever, smash the like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes. We're hitting it consistently now. I really appreciate that. Also, make sure to hit the sub button. You won't regret it. Grind is the grind already started and it'll be going all the way till next July. So you guys won't want to miss a thing. Also hit that noti bell. It helps me out. It helps you out. You guys will get notified of any coins, tips, tricks, news, anything right on the spot. It's good to have the noti bell on, especially for what I do in Madden content creation because my stuff is my stuff is news. So you want it when it comes out, not hours later. If you get what I'm trying to say. So hit that bell button. And also comment down below, guys, if I missed anyone on this list, and if you guys have another reasoning for why you should do someone over another person. Now, guys, you get it at approximately level 50. I'm not there yet. I did not have a full copy of the game like most other people, so I'm kind of behind. But I plan to be there by tonight or tomorrow morning, and I already know who I'm going to use mine on. So first off, I've used, I already have a few of those players, so I just plan to probably sell them. So there's, there's multiple ways to go about this, right? There is... Let's say, let's say you want to use Donald. You could have Donald, power him up, and then you just have him already. And then you just take him, you, you sell him and put the power pass in. Or you don't have him at all. So you just get his power up and then you just do it. So in my case, I have these players already, so I'd have to sell them. So for me, it's like I'm going to gain coins back. For other people, it's just to save coins. Now, the power pass is one of the most beloved things in Madden in the last two years. It is one of the best things I've ever added. It really gives you a chance to get players that otherwise you wouldn't get or you couldn't try. So let's start with the 80, uh, the 88s. I wouldn't recommend using it on Brady because he is a quarterback. Obviously, we like changing our quarterbacks a lot. He's also very cheap. Wouldn't, you can't even use it on Tucker because he's a kicker. I would recommend using it. I'm going to give you guys my first recommendation. I'm going I'm to start from the bottom. So from the bottom, I'd probably tell you to use it on D-Hop. So D-Hop, D-Hop's a good receiver. I have him powered up. I can show you guys right here if you don't believe me. He's really good, but he's, not, he's always going to be on the slower side for Madden purposes. This year, he's not too bad. 84 with how Madden is right now is not too bad. But he's always on the slower side. He's never really an end game receiver for most people. He's not the tallest. He's not the shortest. But he's not the fastest. He kind of He's kind of like the jack of all trades. I love him. He's overpowered right now. But again, with power pass, I like to look at the long term. Also, quick tip. Always write down who you use your power passes on. Because later in the year, you wanna take, when you want to take those guys off and you forget, you're going to lose a lot of coins reducing them down. Second on the list, I'm probably going to go with... I'm gonna go with Bobby Wagner. Right now he's really slow. I just bought him actually. I sniped him out for pretty cheap. He's pretty slow, but his tackling stats and peripherals, everything looks good. It's just his speed a little bit. But again, I guess compared to Shazier is unfair because Shazier is like a glitch linebacker. But if you guys know, Bobby Wagner is always an end game card. So you're gonna wanna have him. Bobby Wagner goes always to the last day of Madden. He will be one of the best middle linebackers of the year. And he's gonna get his speed up, obviously. So he's gonna be well, well worth it by the time you have to worry about that. So as much as I'm not a fan of him right now, I also run a 3-4, so I usually have two linebackers out there, so I really need two. Second on this list, it's probably going to be, it comes down to Khalil Mack or Aaron Donald, and I'm going to have to go Khalil Mack for number for number two. I'm doing it out of the four 88s, obviously, because I think those are always the best just because they're 88 overalls. And then I'm going to give you guys the honorable mentions. So for number four, I'm going to do Khalil Mack. Now Khalil Mack, I, already, I don't have him powered up, and there's a reason why. So I was talking with Xerxes about this. We were discussing like, who are the best cards to power up, right? So we're talking, we're talking, and I'm like, why wouldn't it be Khalil Mack? And we're thinking, because there's a Von Miller. So we were talking about, and I didn't even really understand. I was like, okay, so there's a Von Miller. Why wouldn't you want Mack? And he told me that there's going to be a most feared Von Miller, most feared Khalil Mack, most likely coming out, because there always is. So I'm thinking, okay, cool, so you can upgrade him. And then he mentioned that, but wait, most feared in late October, the last day of October. So right now it's only it's only July. So it's going to be two to, it's going to be three months from now until we usually see the next Khalil Mack upgrade. Meanwhile, Von Miller is already 91 overall. 
with the series. If you know what I'm talking about, you go to the store. I'm sure you get to the end of the video if you're still around. But that Von Miller is going to be a 91 with chance to upgrade already on Team of the Week or something. And he's already going to be better and almost as good as that most fear would be. So we had a valid point. Bas basically, Clemac is amazing. But in three months, you're going to want to upgrade. And it's gonna t in a month, you're going to want to upgrade because the weekend league progressively gets better and I want to compete online. So from that purpose, he was right. Khalil Mack, there's a better option than Von Miller. So Khalil Mack, in my opinion, is a great card to have for now. I have him. I'm rocking with him from the auction block. No problem with him. But long term, he could be good. Long term, like if you want to power pass him in like three months and you want to just get him and then power up with his most fear, fine. But I plan to compete from now to that day on weekend league. So I need the best team available. So I'm going to probably get rid of him when I get the Von Miller. But if you're just looking to just... If you're not really competing, you're just looking to get the best, probably long-term card. Khalil Mack's your guy, but again, people compete on weekend league, people like to play online. And for that reason, Khalil Mack is slightly downgraded because he won't probably be upgraded for a while. And there's a Von Miller outside linebacker for free from just getting trophies out there. Now, first on the list, guys, is going to be Aaron Donald. I didn't include the Legends because Legends don't tend to get as many upgrades because they are Legends. So, I mean, I feel like those just wouldn't be as viable as maybe an Aaron Donald, who will be coming in as number one. Now, Aaron Donald stats, guys, they speak for themselves. Look at all those 80s. Even his speed's not too bad. And this year, especially when speed's on the lower lower trend, 81 excel, 89 strength, 81 tackle, 88 play rec, 86 block shedding, 88 power moves, and 85 finesse moves. He is a tank. He is a full-blown tank. I already have his ass upgraded. Look at that right there. Put some chems on. Put some superstar abilities on. Put some regular abilities on. He is a beast. He is hands down the best player to upgrade in this game right now. So like I said, Bobby Wagner... Diop coming in at bottom two. Khalil Mack and Donald, the, the front runners for both one. The only difference is if you're going to be competitive every day, every, you know, Aaron Donald's probably the best option. With Khalil Mack coming in at a very, very close second. If you're not, even if you're not competing, he's probably tied. But there's a free Von Miller. So remember that. I'll show you guys after that. Now, an honorable mention will be going to the 87s. Now, this, this is for, for certain people, right? It's not for everyone. The honorable mentions, you go all the way down here. It's going to be, where is he? It's gonna be Pat Mahomes once I get to him. Damn, he's deep. So Pat Mahomes is expensive as hell. So that's why he's on there. He's gonna be one of the best quarterbacks. He's on the cover of the game. He's gonna get a ton of upgrades. EA loves his ass. They're gonna be giving him a ton of cards. So he's gonna have a ton of opportunities to level, you know, level up his cards. So if you're a Pat Mahomes fan like I am, you could easily use it on this. I know plenty of people want the cover athlete this year on their team. Gonna have that baz bazooka chem. Plenty of reasons to want him. He's one honorable mention that I'd highly recommend. Then there's Von Miller. He's an honorable mention because if you want to power up him with the Series 1 card that they gave you, and I'll show you at the end of the video, he's you could easily power up him, power pass with him, and then use him to power pass the Series guy, or you to connect with the Series guy. But again, he's an 87. I would like to keep him for my 88s. And there's Todd Gurley. He's the beast running back, but he's very he's on the cheaper side, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I'd rather have Saquon Barkley for free out of my level up pack than go out and spend or use my power pass on Todd Gurley, so I wouldn't really recommend using it on him. And then finally... There's a Fletcher Cox. He's really, really good. He's a stud defensive tackle, but he is a defensive tackle. So for that reason, I don't recommend it. But again, there are Eagles fans, so I'm just getting out there who the best 87s are. There's also JJ Watt. He's a great option too. Really good stats, a little bit on the slower side. He's also a little injury prone, which sometimes limits his ability to get upgrades. But, the, oh, and the final honorable mention, Jalen Ramsey. Now, in my opinion, out of everyone I named, Jalen Ramsey is probably one of my favorite. Probably one of my favorites out of all of them. I even have him powered up. But the thing is, is that he's an 87 overall. And he's gonna he's not always an endgame car because towards the end of the year, it's always gonna be Deion Sanders, Mel Blunt, and those kind of guys. So for that reason, just being an 87, he's not gonna make the list, but he's probably the top honorable mention. If I don't do any of those 88s, I probably do Jalen Ramsey. So that's what I got for the video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. If you haven't checked out my other two videos, I did a awesome pack opening this morning and i updated my coin method which you guys are going to want to watch right now if you're still watching this go head over to that video i updated it. it is now free you don't have to spend any coins and you can make upwards to a million coins it is an awesome method go check it out and guys if you're new to the video if you're new to the channel you're loving the content make sure to hit the sub button turn on the noti bell and let's get 100 likes in this video guys i'm out i hope you guys have been enjoying and a little quick little quick at the end i know i shouldn't be plugging myself as much but go down to the description i have my twitter link there go click it and go drop a follow on twitter because you're able to be able to DM me on there and ask for any advice. I've already helped like five to 10 people just this morning on should they sell, should they keep, should they buy, what packs is open, should they hold. So that alone, you can go over to Twitter, DM me on there. It's very useful. It's easier than the comments because a lot of things get lost in the comments. 
that's it hope you guys have enjoyed thank you so much for watching i'm out